So if you'd like to close your eyes, remember that each of us has been anointed with the blessing oil many times in baptism, confirmation, ordination, profession, matrimony, marriage, during illness, and very often at our healing retreats. Take a moment and reflect upon an experience when the anointing with oil that came with a powerful message from the divine that went something like this. You are my holy one. You belong to me and I bless you abundantly. Or as Jesus heard at his baptism by John, you are my beloved son or my beloved daughter. On you, my favor rests. Mm. Just remember that. And then later, you can spend more time contemplating it. So we're going to just do some prayers now for healing. So each of us, Barbara Rose, Padre, and I will just do a, a few moments of prayer for each person's needs. So pa Padre, would you mind starting? I'd be glad to. Just Bobby, you're talking about the presence. To me, it's stirring within me. Always been there, but it's activated by the word that's being spoken. And so I just want to pray for every person for a, a heart encounter. What we're dealing with in this world, uh, the coronavirus, uh, the depression, the lack of money, whatever it might be, the solution, the, the, the miracle that can happen is that our heart opens, the treasure chest opens, so the divine light of Christ can come. So I just decree that divine light through the angelic realm just come forth and begin to lay hands on people as they're listening, as they're praying along with me, as along as our community. There's a very specific people. I see people who are suffering with cancer, but also with diabetes and also heart problems that let the heartbeat of heaven, the heartbeat of heaven begin to saturate you now, bringing balance, renewal, restoration, and migraine headaches and back problems. I thank you, O oh Lord, our God, for just eliminating the pain, but also the bringing them into that in-depth experience of how much God loves you. I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Come, Come light of God. Come, all holy ones. Come especially to those gathered here and their relatives and friends who are experiencing emotional pain. Heal their wounds. Fill them with your light. Fill them with your presence. And I pray especially for the children who have emotional needs. I pray that each of their guardian angels will come now and heal them, shift them into love, bring the light that they need. And I pray for those who are preparing to pass into the light. May all their angels be evident to them and bring them peace on that journey. And for each person on this call, I pray that you got whatever grace was intended for you. And if you haven't already, that it will happen before it's over and that it will be more than one. Thank you, God. Thank you all. Amen. Amen. Beloved, we are so grateful for the intercession in which you bestow into each of our hearts, into our lives. And we bless each other in the name of the great I am presence, for your consciousness is supreme. And there is a hope in a way. And I offer this hope in this way in all who suffer in ways that 
bring heartbreak. I pray for each and every one of us during this time of light that we experience the miraculous in all ways, that there is no limitation, that we are not left to our own devices, that we can claim these heavenly treasures, that we can walk as children of a king, of a queen, and that we can know that we mean something to each other, to the world, that we are important to each other and to the world and not lose hope, never lose hope. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.